this is Melissa from StockPineMoms.com and today I want to talk to you about how to create a design statement of a bathroom. When you are creating the design statement for your bathroom, you need to make sure that your main focus is functionality. This is the smallest room of your house, but it's also the most used room. Regardless, if you choose a modern, traditional, or transitional design, it's important that you focus on functionality. For us, as you can tell, this is a very small space. We wanted our focus to be our shower for this space. Not only is it the bathroom for my teenage son, it's also the bathroom that our guests use when they come to our house. It doubles as a powder room slash bathroom. Now, I am personally in love with pedestal sinks. So I wanted to make sure that our bathroom featured a pedestal, but choosing a large oversized pedestal that's also extremely functional was very important to me. In addition to that, we just added a cabinet to put away everything that would have been inside of a vanity so that it's at my son's fingertips, but also looks nice. Of course, you can never go wrong with the washlet. This is absolutely one of our favorite features of the bathroom. Each one of our bathrooms features a washlet, and it's something that we each thoroughly enjoy. But making sure that you choose a very functional space Designed nicely, Toto has you covered. No matter if you're upgrading or you're going through a complete remodel or building, they have everything from accessories to showers, bathtubs, toilets, sinks, you name it, they've got it. Be sure to visit the blog for more tips on how to create a design statement of a bathroom at stockpinemoms.com.